right, watch fans, I've got another one. I don't know, I think, I don't know where I got this one from. I don't know what it is. Of course, I guess I never do know, but we'll find out. So I'm as excited as you are. Maybe I'm a little more excited because I could keep it if it's awesome. All right, the no name. A D K. A DK. All right, never heard of that. Let's see. Maybe it's garbage. Maybe it's awesome. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so right, I can tell right off the bat it's a definitely a lower budget watch. Um, but I'm sure I bought it for some reason. Uh, I like the fact that uh, the day of the week is set up there. It's kind of neat. All right. What, what is this? Doesn't say. Okay. All right. I'll see if I can find a video. Otherwise, you'll be right back to talk to me. One of the problems I find with doing blind watch reviews is that you get my initial unbiased thoughts. I enjoy doing low budget watch reviews, but on occasion there are watches that quite frankly, we just have to be honest about their content. One of my favorite watch reviewers, Frederico Talks Watches, has a quote, which is quality over quantity. And he's completely correct. For my channel, quantity is an inevitability but I do keep the, quanti the quality and get rid of the quantity over time. A DK presents itself as an ultra exclusive watch brand that heralds back to the golden age of Beverly Hills. However, I was unable to, fact to, to actually find anything that suggested the watch was anything but a very low budget Chinese knockoff brand. A DK had several YouTube videos that were also of extremely low quality, as you see on the screen. Reading a DK's mission statement from their website, it states, A DK watches are one of the most exclusive watches made in Beverly Hills, California. So exclusive that back in the day, you had to be a Beverly Hills resident to even step foot into their shop. California Accessories has teamed up with a DK to promote their newest styles to the rest of the world. If you love watches as much as we do, it is definitely a brand to add to your collection. 100% genuine stainless steel mechanics that will last you a lifetime. At least at the time of this video, I'd recommend against buying a DK. There are some attractive looking watches, but the fit and finish is so low budget that I don't believe these watches to be worth more than $19.99 or $24.95 tops retail. Quite honestly, it's something that you might purchase at a bazaar. All right, so this is the ADK, um, doesn't really say what it is, um, the model. Yeah, I don't think there's much to it. It's AK6263M, there you go. Um, you know, inexpensive watch. Uh, I looked at what I paid for this and it was a watch game spin and it was $52. So uh, I think this is definitely worth $52. I'm not going to take the plastic off because you guys don't necessarily care that much about it, but um, it's decent. So one of the things, uh, of course, first thing I like is I always like these gauges. So this has Monday through Sunday, or I guess I should say uh, Sunday through Saturday, um, the gauge uh, for the day of the week. Um, and then it's also got the date uh, of the month on there too, which is good. It does not tell you the month, but of course, don't necessarily need that. Um, otherwise it's a standard three hand. It's decent. It is a, an Epson movement, which I believe is Seiko. Gosh, I, I can't remember. I gotta look it up, but I'll, I'll put pictures of it right up here so you can see it. Um, decent movement. It's actually not that bad. It is a Japanese movement. This watch says made in Japan. I'm not sure that I actually believe that. Um, it certainly has a, uh, Japanese movement in it, but I think it is made in China. And one of the reasons why I think it's made in China, and it's certainly a, a lower budget Chinese watch, uh, I will show you right up here. Um, I took some pictures, which is basically this with the case off. It's as I bought it, and you can kind of see the casting and the flashing of the case uh, does not lend itself well. So it, that is a fault that I'm gonna definitely give this watch. Even though it's a low budget watch, I have seen watches that were equally low budget 
and uh, didn't have those problems. Like for example, here's a watch that I paid $20 for, right? It's kind of cool, whatever. The flashing is, the, the casting and stuff is nowhere near as poor as what I showed you in that picture. Now it is a smaller, smaller wrist watch. I'm going to put it on just so you can kind of see um, in case you run across these or decide that you want to buy one. So it's not bad. Um, we'll find out, I'll do the measurements in a bit, but it looks, I mean, it looks decent, right? Like I would not be offended wearing this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I have enough really nice watches that it's just not worth it to me. So I'll probably give this away to somebody at work. Um, so we'll see. Now, the uh, watch says it retails for $295. Um, that's the MSRP. Now, we know that's not true, so I got the watch for $52 shipped. So I'm going to say this is probably, if I had to honestly put a price on this, I would say this is a $39 watch all day long. Like, good retail price, $39. That's the value that I would put at this watch. Some of the other... Uh, $52 watches that I reviewed from the tier one watch gang were, um, were also, and you, know, you can also kind of see, this, no, let me see, let me get rid of my fingerprint, but I just want you to be able to see how the, just, you know, it's just polished, but it's, it's just not great. Now these are solid links, so I can't complain there, right? Solid link bracelet, it's not bad and it is a slightly higher thickness, which I do like. So the bracelet is decent. The bracelet is not is not horrible. Um, but uh, this, this is a watch that, um, like I said, realistically $39 uh, at a store, uh, Walmart, Kmart, Target, that's what I think. Now, uh, one thing I did like about it, this does have a screw down crown. You guys know that I like that. Um, I think that adds value, so. I was pretty impressed with that, that it did have one. It's a little wonky. Um, it, the, the shaft that it goes in definitely does not have a gasket in it. So if this pops out, that's that. Uh, stamped steel, it is all stainless. Uh, it doesn't say what kind, so it's not 3 16th. Uh, this bezel does spin. Um, it's pretty fluid. It's actually one of the better cheap ones. It has a 90 clicks all the way around, so it's not horrible. Um, you know, not, not too bad. Uh, all right, let's start doing some of the measurements. And then I think I might also do a loom shot of this because there's enough things on here that to make it worth it. So, all right. Case size 42. The lug width is 20. The depth I'm going to say is 14. And oh, look at me, 15. All right, and the lug to lug is about 45, so not too bad. Let's do the weight too, because it's got some decent weight to it. Do it in grams. Hundred and, well, it's slipping off. 154. <clears throat> I'll just leave it at that. It's got a nice face to it. Um, it is too bright out for me to, because again, I don't have my workshop using my daughter's Lego table, but I can at least try and show you what it would look like to some extent. I'll turn this light off if I can get it to. So kind of cool, kind of cool, not too bad. Um, what else can I talk about? So it certainly looks like a dive watch, but it's only 50 meter water resistance, despite the fact that it has a screw down crown. Um, I think that just is simply by sheer fact that it's just not a very expensive watch. Uh, but I wouldn't hesitate to put this on and take it to the beach. You know what? I may actually keep this watch. This is actually a perfect watch for me to just wear while I'm working around the house, right? I, I'm always looking for a watch that like I can mow the lawn in. I, I mean, I'm not, not to be cruel, but one that I can mow the lawn in, work on the house on uh, with and uh, still be able to tell the time, know what's going on and not uh, be too concerned. So I think this is a good solid watch for me to wear uh, under those circumstances. So I think this, this one's the winner. 
Um, all right. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate. And um, yeah. All right. Leave your comments below. Give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.